Hey, can you guys hear me out there? Just spent uh, another weekend. I spent uh, Memorial Weekend out at uh, out in Death Valley. I went back again this time just to go and hang out for four days. <clears throat> so nothing extreme, but it is a lot of off-road travel to get there. Very rough road. So uh, yesterday I was cleaning up my truck, my camping gear and all that stuff. And giving the truck a good going over, making sure I don't have any cuts in the tires or anything falling off, you know. Everything looks pretty good. Except I just noticed, uh, you know, last month, I think it was last month, I replaced the front shocks, uh, ARB. Old Man Emu replaced the Nitro Charger shocks. They sent me some replacements with the Nitro Charger Sport Shock. He said, cool. I had those installed. It cost me a couple hundred dollars to have them installed and have them, um, the wheels aligned, new wheel alignment. So these shocks aren't that old and I was checking them out and I noticed this shock is already leaking oil. You know, typically I'll wash the truck and I'll hose off underneath, so everything should be fairly clean and dry. But if you look under the, this is the passenger side. Yeah, the bottom of the passenger side, lower control arm, you can see it's wet. It's oily, oily residue. And if you go up the shock, you can see the dirt has how the dirt has stuck to the body of the shock and it's wet it's got that oily residue all the way up so apparently the shock has blown the seal yeah I hope this comes out it's blown its seal and the oil all came out of it yeah it's all oily. This is where I wiped it with my finger already, just to see. Yep, it's not water. So that's no good. How can I give these things a decent review? And these are supposed to be their better shocks. So here's the driver's side. The driver's side looks normal. It's dry. You stupid bird. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Well, I'm going to see if I can get a replacement from ARB. I'm going to take some pictures and send them to them, and hopefully, they'll send me a replacement because I'm not working right now. I've been out of work a month now. And. I don't have money to be spending on parts right now. So I need a new strut there. My Bronco is back there. That has to be taken out and smog and registrations due, you know. Just blows.